Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. We haven't reviewed a product made by Aimpoint for quite a while and today is the perfect opportunity to do this because they've just released a limited edition Micro H2 Saracati version. Aimpoint is a leading manufacturer of red dot sights in the world and they make red dot sights of the highest quality class. Their dots of the type Micro are today a benchmark for all the other manufacturers who strive to copy this site as close as possible because of its popularity. So the Aimpoint was the first to establish this Micro standard which is today so popular. Aimpoint has been around for, from 1975 so they have quite a lot of experience in the field of red dot sites. And their philosophy is that a site should be reliable, rugged, simplify aiming and offer the best possible optical experience. With their products, they stick to all this. Now, how, does, how did this site came to be? At the beginning of this year, Aimpoint has announced a launch of limited edition H2 Micro Red Dot sites in the combination of black and orange. Orange is a color that is gaining in popularity among hunters. And at EVA 2018, many have joked that the motto of the fair could be orange is the new black. At first, they wanted to limit the series, so Aimpoint wanted to limit the series to 1,000 pieces. And eventually, they have decided to raise the number up to 2,000 because of the great demand for these. Let's open the box and see how the site looks. I'll put the box aside for now. <coughs> so, uh, here in the housing, you can see that this, in fact, is a limited edition. 2,000 pieces were made. This is number 1,401. And of course, it is in combination of orange and black and looks really nice. Now, it also comes with a certificate of it being a limited edition. These were all these, all 2000 of this, these were hand signed by the president of Aimpoint. And it's quite funny because at Aimpoint, they were joking that it took him a few days to sign all the 2000 certificates. But this is a really nice gesture and a great addition to this limited edition H2. Its specialty is the uh, durable Saracati coating, which was tested to withstand scratches, corrosion, um, and uh, all the harsh treatment. So this is a really, really uh, a coating of high quality. Uh, the shade of orange that I have chosen is really nice. A little bit different from everything else in the kit, but nice nevertheless uh, and uh, the dot is only available as a part of the whole driven hunt kit where you get all the accessories that you see here on the camera I will be coming back to these accessories later on <clears throat> now I will focus on the characteristics of the side itself now as regards the optical qualities and most of the physical characteristics this side is identical to the classic H2 apart from it, of course, being uh, the limited edition and the orange color. Now this belongs to the series H2, which is the second generation of the Aimpoint H series. It is manufactured in Sweden. The length is 68 millimeters, which equals 2.7 inch, with 41 millimeters, which equals 1.6 inch, and the height is 47 millimeters, this is 1.9 inch. It is made of high strength aluminum, the side is very rugged, robust, the surface is anodized and even though it's a small tube side it is still pretty lightweight, With, without the mount it weighs 93 grams, with the mount 136 grams. The orange limited edition H2 comes with a integrated Weaver Picatinny mount. If we remove the original mount there is the famous Aimpoint micro mounting platform on the bottom, here I have, I can show you the platform. So um, for it there are plenty of mounts available by all the renowned mounting manufacturers. So finding a specific mount for your Aimpoint Micro is really not a problem. Now it operates on a single CR2032 battery uh, located under this cap on the side of the device. A single battery will last for around 50,000 hours on a medium setting which is around five years of continuous use, so really quite a lot. There are also, of course, windage and elevation turrets on the Aimpoint Micro. The caps are easily unscrewed. Um, 
here are the turrets. One click moves the point of impact for 13 millimeters at 100 meters or for 6.5 millimeters at 50 meters. The elevation turret is shrouded from both sides to prevent potential damage or accidental moving of the turret and even the windage turret is nicely protected. It is shrouded on one side and protected by the battery compartment on the other. Now with each uh, Aimpoint Micro product you also get a nice tool. So this universal tool with which you can make rotations to the elevation and windage turrets. You can also unscrew the battery compartment and so on. So a very useful tool indeed. Now uh, if we move on to the flip up covers that are <coughs> added to this site. Uh, these are removable transparent flip up covers so you can look through and they protect the lenses from scratches nicely. And what is really interesting is that flip up covers from H1 can be put on H2 but the other way around is not possible. The objective lens is tilted. We are used to this with Aimpoint Micro devices and uh, many customers think that this is a fault, so an error, but it is not. It actually allows the beam of light that is generated by the LED inside the device to be reflected uh, into the user's eye in front of the device regardless of its position in front of the device. There is only one available dot size with this limited edition Seracati version. This is the 2M wave version, so which provides 6 centimeters of coverage on 100 meters or 3 centimeters on 50 meters. Aimpoint has made sure that this can withstand all sorts of harsh treatment and also uh, pretty harsh temperatures. So it works from minus 30 degrees to 60 degrees without problems. And this is the H version, so if we look at how rugged in-point sites are, the, the T versions can withstand even more down to minus 40 degrees, 45 degrees Celsius. So this is an indicator of how well in-point is capable of constructing their red dot sites. Um, yeah, so I've already mentioned that it's powered by CR2032 battery and it can be submerged to a depth of 5 meters. Now as regards the optical qualities, if we look through this device, you can see that the image is really not all that different from what we see in reality. And um, this is an indicator of how good the optics are, the image looked when seen through is a uh, real one times magnification, so you can look through with both eyes open. The contrast is really good, the image is really good, and this is all what is expected from an Aimpoint Micro site. There are altogether 12 illumination intensity levels to choose from. You have to rotate this wheel to make, to choose individual level. Um, at the end of this video I will include the video of how the dot looks when looked through at all the illumination intensity levels. The battery life, as I already mentioned, is 50,000 hours. And uh, yeah, so this is basically it as regards the device. It is only available as a part of the Driven Hunt kit that you see here. And uh, in this Driven Hunt kit you get a... Everything is orange. You get an orange aim point cap, orange bolt handle, an orange sling with an aim point logo, you get a Wild Boar Fever 8 CD and of course in the box you get this useful tool of course the certificate which is a very nice addition to this limited edition aim point and uh, as with every device you get the instruction manual to help you use your device. You also get 10 years of warranty with a limited edition Seracati version uh, another nice gesture. Now um, we have reached the conclusion to so the, the end part of this review where it's time to point out some advantages and some disadvantages of the Aimpoint Micro H2 limited edition. Now the first and foremost we have to point out the most um, important part here. Only 2000 of these were made 
and uh, once they're sold out and I think that they will sell out really quickly their value is sure to rise up so this is definitely a great buy um, a great collectible um, you can even use this uh, on on your rifle you, or you can simply uh, have it somewhere just uh, as a collectible and see that in time the value does really rise now if we look at it as if it weren't a limited edition but a simple uh, H2 so uh, aim point micro h2 this is still probably one of the best if not the best small tube sights on the for hunting uh, currently on the market it features aim point quality of course excellent optics and rugged housing 12 illumination intensity is also a positive thing so um, enough for every lighting condition and a very compact design um, these are all the advantages the disadvantages of course the price is the main disadvantage. Uh, this driven hunt kit costs around 820 euros. And um, well, nevertheless, you get an aim point product, you, you get their quality, you get a limited edition. Still, the prices are quite high from the aim point devices, but you can expect quality um, for paying this price. Some would say that this device has a Two small objective lens, let me just open it here. The diameter is 20 millimeters. Some might find this too small. This is up to the personal preference. Not a necessary disadvantage, of course. And uh, some would also argue that uh, this is not really all that different to H1, if you look at it as a standard H2. So um, not that different from H1 regarding, as regards optics, as regards the housing and so on. Also, what would be really nice if it came with a QR, so the quick release mount as default. To conclude, this is a great thing for those, for Aimpoint fans, of course, for collectors, for those who like something of a limited edition, and for those who like a really appealing sight. So this de definitely looks really nice, it's really appealing, and I can imagine that it looks really nice mounted on the rifle. And uh, if you have all the accessories, you're sure to stand out in the crowd and uh, attract a lot of attention. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful, if you like the orange limited edition Seracati version, leave a like, subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you have anything to ask, you can always leave a comment in the comment section or send us an email and we'll gladly reply. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.